Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. Um, I'm putting out a read today and I'm kind of struggling as to what the topic is going to be. Um, I keep, I keep getting, uh, what does this person, how does this person really feel about you? Um, how does this person really feel about you? Like, I feel like someone's been keeping secrets about how they feel about you. Um, so we're going to just pull some cards on that. Um, it's a little different than normal. I don't know why I can't get this thought out of my head, but, um, we're just going to go with it. I'm going to also pull some love and romance journey cards and some soul reflection, love Oracle cards. And then uh, I also have that, the deck to be honest, divine moon empress, um, which sometimes those cards are a little harsh and direct, but we'll see what pops out. How does this person feel about you? I feel like someone's been keeping a secret about you, um, about how they feel. So give me some cards about this person. Who is this person to the viewer? King of coins. So it could potentially be an earth sign. doesn't have to be. Um, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also feel like it could be related to somebody you work with because it's a, a pentacle um, or a coin. Sorry, I didn't say this is, um, what is this deck? This is the Tarot of the Divine deck. I like this deck. It's a cute deck. Um, anyways, I, I digress. I feel like this person um, is coming in as a king of pentacles or king of coins. I, I like that because the king of pentacles is someone who is committed and loyal and grounded, a caretaker, a provider. So this person is serious. This person is serious about a connection. Um, I feel like it could potentially be someone you work with. Um, definitely someone that is, is serious about a connection. It doesn't seem like, at least so far, that this person is, um, you know, just kind of player energy. This it seems like someone that's really stable and consistent. Potentially someone you work with. But let me get some more cards before I see if any cards will validate that. Like, who is this person with the secret? Six of Coins, the Tower, the King of Wands, uh-oh, and the Page of Swords. So this person um, definitely is not someone you would expect to have a secret crush on you or a secret about their feelings for you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we have the Six of Coins. So I feel like this person matches your energy kind of well. This is a balanced give and take kind of reciprocal reciprocal connection. If you have a connection with them, if you don't, it will be reciprocated. Um, this person is not just like a take, take, taker. This person tries to give as well as receive and, and they receive and give as well, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's an equal give and take. Um, Maybe you don't know what I'm saying. I, I'm not talking clearly today, but this person uh, definitely has a balance to them and I feel like when you guys are together it's kind of a balanced situation this is definitely not someone you're expecting the tower card being here this is someone it's gonna kind of really surprise you you're not anticipating it to be this person um, you never thought in a million years this person would potentially have thoughts about you this person not only wants to be a caretaker and a provider with the king of coins they're also showing up as the king of wands which is uh, intense chemistry. So this person has been thinking about you. This person has intense thoughts about you. Um, they are very attracted to you. Um, I'll just leave it there. Lots of passion. Uh, lust is the word that wanted to come out of my mouth, but uh, I don't, that's not normally a, card, uh, a word I use to describe that card. And then we have the Page of Swords. So this person is either... This person is gathering information about you. So um, this could be them checking out your social media pages, like trying to figure out, like, are you dating somebody? Do you have someone in your life? Um, they might be asking friends and friends about you, but they're playing like in Mr. or Mrs. Inspector Gadget and trying to collect information. For those of you who don't know who Inspector Gadget is, uh, sorry, I'm just showing my age, but... Uh, yeah, they're trying to be like a little bit of a detective to try to figure out what's going on with you. Um, they might even be talking to you a bit more, asking you questions, 
um, making conversations. I feel like um, if if they're around you, if they're potentially uh, someone you see on a regular basis, then I feel like they're making conversations. Hmm. Okay. Um, now that that's clear as mud, uh, what does this person, um, what is this person thinking and feeling about the viewer? What is this person thinking and feeling about the viewer? Seven of swords. The five of wands. The freaking emperor. Woo! The five of coins. <laughs> the wheel of fortune sorry i don't mean to laugh eight of coins down the bottom of the deck this person's been this person's been lying to themselves this person the seven of swords came out sometimes this is i mean this is a card of lies and deceptions i don't think they think you're a liar and you're deceptive i think they've been lying to themselves about how they feel about you um i feel as if they've been kind of downplaying it maybe talking themselves out of it or trying to telling themselves like this isn't gonna work or this person doesn't feel the same way about me or I shouldn't be feeling this way because I'm potentially with somebody else is what I just got in my head um this person's been lying to themselves this person has been lying to themselves about how they feel about you um they feel like you have lots of potential opportunities I think they think like this person has to have multiple people chasing them, whether that's your reality or not. Um, but this person feels like they uh, might have to fight for you. And I feel like they are willing to fight for you. They envision themselves fighting for you because they uh, feel like they are showing up as your emperor or you're showing up as their emperor. Like you guys are divine counterparts. You guys are a match. This person wants to protect you. This person wants to provide for you. This person wants to care for you. Um, this person wants to be the strong protector over you. Male or female is irrelevant. Like they want it. If it's a female, it's a little bit more nurturing. Um, they just want to be your person. Um, I feel like they're super worried that you're going to be left out or they're going to be left out in the cold. I feel like... Um, I don't think they think you're broken or left out in the cold. I feel like they're worried they're going to be left out in the cold because I don't know if they, they don't know if you reciprocate the same intense feelings that they're developing for you. And I almost feel like this is like a new thing for them too. I don't think this is something that they, I feel like they've known you for a minute or known of you for a minute. And like all of a sudden it's just kind of happening and they don't even know why. The Wheel of Fortune is here, so I do feel like uh, karma's coming in, the universe is taking over, um, things are shifting, things are moving, cycles are ending, new cycles are beginning, and that's what I feel like um, happened. This person, I feel like, might be a little bit surprised themselves, like that tower card came out, but I think um, they might be surprised themselves too, but things are happening the way they're supposed to be happening. All right, give me some information about what's going to happen. What actions is this person going to take? What actions is this person going to take? Let's see if they take any. Five of Cups. Two of Swords. <laughs> Judgment. Oh, that's funny. Six of Swords. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, well, uh, at first I was laughing because I'm like, this person's not going to take any action. Uh, but they are. Um, I feel like this person, we have five of cups and the two of swords. So five of cups to me is like focused on what you don't have. Like this person has three spilled cups, but she has two full cups behind her. And she's just devastated about these three full cups or the three empty cups. So I feel like this person um, for the moment is not really going to be doing much. They are focused on what they don't have instead of what they have right behind them. Um, they're focused on how things aren't working out, how life hasn't been easy, how, um, you know, how they wish things had played out differently instead of focused on all this greatness that they do have. So this person's kind of stuck in this energy of woe is me almost, or maybe they are going through some really difficult things and they're struggling to see positive things around them. Um, the two of swords here is like 
being blindfolded or not being sure which way to go, but you have choices, right? So I think with this Two of Swords energy, it's like they're not sure what to do with this newfound love interest that they have with you or newer found love interest or maybe not so new. Um, I feel like it's newer. I feel like it kind of stuck up and bit them just like it's going to sneak up and bite you. Um, but this person has a path to pick, right? So they're contemplating, they're indecisive, they're not sure what they want to do. And then they're going to go through this whole judgment period of themselves, evaluation of them, their lives, like what makes me happy? What is it that I want? What is it that I need? How can I be this person? You know, like what do I need to be better? What do I need to make this work out? Um, and this person is going to do this evaluation and this this judgment of themselves. Um, what do they want in life? How are they going to get it? Are they willing to take that chance? Um, and they are because they're moving towards calmer waters. So I feel like they, they're kind of feeling like they're in this like sad, conflicted energy, right? Um, they're focused on the negative. They're not sure what to do. They review things, kind of get an epiphany. And then they're like, you know what? I want to move towards this calming person towards this person that I feel like will make me happy towards this person that I can't seem to stop thinking about. They're going to move towards that energy and um, they're coming in hot guys with this knight of wands. This is, this is usually like a player energy, but I feel like this person is going to be coming in with lots of, um, well, potential passion, right? But I feel like this person's going to come in with lots of fun. Um, wands are like energetic, um, charming, uh, flirty. Uh, uh, I was going to say intense passion, but that's more of the king of wands and not the knight of wands. The, the knight of wands is more flirty, um, fun, carefree. Um, kind of relates, um, not relates, but it'll kind of tap into your inner child to make you feel a little bit like young and giddy. And I feel like they're going to be presenting similar. Yeah. It's like, how did I feel about you? Did we have any, did we have any cups up there? We didn't. So I don't know. They might be coming in for some fun. They do. They did feel like the emperor connection. So I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just re-looking at these cards because I don't have them memorized like the other one. Oh, they did show up as the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't see any cups yet. I don't see any love yet. <laughs> but, you know, they definitely have feelings for you. Page of Coins. I didn't ask for anything, so I'm going to put that one back. Um, what's going to be the outcome between you and this person with the secrets? What's going to be the outcome? I just got the song Rumors in my head. I don't even know. It's an old 80s song, I think. Look at all these rumors. Is it rocking me every day? Just need some time, some time to get away. Look at all these rumors. I can't take it no more. Oh, rumors might... Oh, there's the magic stick. Rumors might have something to do with this situation. I don't know. Ace of Coins are good. The Fool. And the three of coins. You guys, I don't... Okay. I was just going to say I don't see anything to do with love. But I just got a, the lovers. Okay. So we have the ten of wands, the ace of wands, the ace of coins, the fool, the three of coins. Um, again, the three of coins to me is potential someone you work with. But the three of coins um, is someone who's willing to build. Someone who's willing to grow. Someone who wants to make this thing work. I see this person being that. I see that working. I see you two working. Is what I should. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't say it. Um, we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like um, there's going to be an ending to the situation the way it currently is. Things are going to end. The current energy between you two is going to end and shift into something very different for the both of you. I feel like you both are coming in with this energy. We have the Ace of Wands, which is the magic stick. If you don't know the 50 Cent Low Kim song. It's the magic stick, lots of passion, lots of fun, lots of uh, chemistry between the two of you. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new start. This is committed, loyal, grounded. This is an offering of a new love situation. Um, usually Ace of Cups is love, but I feel like 
with the lover's card being on the bottom with the combination of the ace of wands and the pentacles the pentacles are like committed and grounded and loyal so there's all this passion but they also want that committed connection so i see that coming ace of wands ace of pentacles uh, the Fool card, you guys are both going to take this leap of faith. You both are going to jump forward in this connection. You're going to think with your heart and not with your head. I feel like you're going to make uh, a choice that feels almost foreign to the both of you. Like I feel like you both may be like overthinkers. And instead of getting so stuck in your thoughts, because this does not make sense to either one of you, you're just going to jump forward and you're going to be quite happy. This is something that's going to build and grow and materialize. Um, you both are going to put the work into this situation. The bottom of the deck is the lovers. This is true love. Um, this is kind of like Beauty and the Beast. So Beauty and the Beast might be something specific, but true love, soulmate, marriage, energy. So there you have it. There you have it. This person and you are going to be lovers. You're going to be in love all right, this is the Love and Romance Journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot. We'll see what cards pop out. Inner Child just came out. So this, chi this child, this person might have some, like a healing to, to do. Oh yeah, Shadow Work just came out. Separation came out. Frustration came out, yeah. Divine Timing, yep, 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 yep. So I feel like this person and or you very likely both of you um, have been doing a lot of like inner child work, shadow work. I feel like there's been a lot of things that have been frustrating in terms of your love life, your connections. I feel like um, that judgment card, like lots of revision of self, like why do I do these things? What prompted me to act this way why do I react this way like I feel like there's going to be like a whole rundown of things from childhood things from past relationships understanding um yourselves because I don't feel like this is going to be like you telling each other things about each other I feel like this is going to be a review of self and I feel like you're going to do it and this person's going to do it um, separation is here. So this could potentially be someone you're in separation with. I didn't get that throughout the rest of the cards, but I'm going to just speak to the cards that come out and then divine timing. I do truly feel like this is divinely guided. Um, this is God's plan, God's will. This is something, uh, like I said, I don't think either one of you thought or ever dreamed of or, <laughs> Could even have imagined um this is divine timing this is god's hand in the situation this is um this will happen when it's supposed to happen uh, i wouldn't force i wouldn't push i wouldn't try to probe like who is this person i just kind of let it lie where it is um so we have the soul reflections love oracle deck new life which on this card this person looks pregnant Excuse me. So this could potentially be a child, but it could also just be like the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, like a new start. So new life. Ooh. We have the mask is on. Things are not what they seem. We have friends. Yeah. I feel like you're friends with this person and it's like uh, they like you a whole lot more than friends and they have so much passion for you. This is all the wands that are coming out. We have the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands. We have lots of wands here. Lots of passion. I'm going to take that. Rewrite your love story. Opportunities to reconcile love. And shyness and courage and taking it slow. Bottom of the deck, we have secret love, hidden love, meeting in secret. So not only is this love a secret, maybe you'll be meeting in secret because you guys don't want other people to know too. But yeah, they're going to reveal. The mask is on right now. They're going to reveal what's really going on. Things are not what they seem. It seems like you guys are friends, but there's so much more than that. There's passion. They want to rewrite their story with you, whether it's reconciling love or just rewriting the story. There is some shyness and secret love. Obviously, that's what the whole read is about um, in this connection. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to finish off this read with the To Be Honest deck from Divine Moon Empress. Um, if you watch me for a while, sometimes I say this, sometimes I don't. But the message cards um, can really solidify a read for someone. Um, it can be something that you've said to someone else, something that someone said to you, something that your mom always used to say. 
uh, or mom does say or something like that. I feel like the cards can be really resonating. It doesn't always go exactly with the reads. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, this could be something they're going to say to you or something you are going to say to them or have said in the past. Or it could just be something not related to either one of you directly, but reminds you of something or someone. So let's see what messages pop out. Like I said, take what resonates and leave the rest. I talk to my friends about you all the time. Oh, so this person is like telling their friends about you, but you, you don't know. I'm doing me, so you do you. It takes a lot for me to put my pride to the side. I've been feeling so out of place in my life, like I don't fit in anymore. I'm not vibing with my friends like I used to. And being apart from you isn't easy for me either. It's one of the most painful things I've ever had to experience. Um, so I feel like this person does feel out of place. I feel like we had that uh, Five of Cups, right? That Five of Cups energy. Um, I've done a couple reads, so I'm trying not to confuse my reads. Uh, I feel like they maybe they, it says they're not vibing with their friends like they used to, but they are talking to their friends about you. Um, I'm doing me, so you do you. That could be just something that resonates outside of this connection. Um, it takes a lot for me to put my pride to the side. And being apart from you isn't easy for me either. It's one of the most painful things I've ever had to experience. So this person definitely... Um, is thinking about you has feelings about you I do feel like they're gonna share those I think it's gonna you know unravel when it's supposed to unravel there could be some shyness to taking things slow but this person has lots of passion lots of um, intimate thoughts lots of um, excitement when it comes to you but I feel like this is kind of a surprise to them and it, I think it's gonna be a heck of a surprise to you with this tower card um, I don't know who this message is for, but I feel like it's going to reach whoever it's supposed to reach. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And until the next time, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.